Who's having fun here? So about half of you. Cool. No, really, who's having fun here? And that's all I do is have fun. I mean, literally, if you can have fun every day, just share this product with people, take keto, and put it in people's hands, get them to taste it and try it, and when they like it, simply show them how to buy it. Your business will explode if you can teach your people that. I mean, we have a product that works, right? Right. Yes. Almost every single one of you got an instant wow factor, right? Yeah. Yes. So if you take that exact same experience and share it with people and give it to people, what's going to happen? They're going to have it too. They're going to like the way they feel. They're going to like the product, the way that it tastes, and they're going to want to get some more. Um, if you don't mind, I wouldn't mind sharing with you maybe about two years ago. How many people have been in the industry before? How many people have found themselves at one moment in time where you're like, you know what? This isn't working. I'm, I'm done. Yeah. Cool. I think there's a few hands that uh, maybe didn't go up that should have. Because I, I think each and every one of us has questioned at one moment in time whether or not we were built for this. Am I right? Yeah. Yes. About two years ago, I was broke, busted, and living in my parents' basement. Two years ago. And uh, it was pretty crazy. I was working my butt off, and I wasn't getting anywhere. How many people have ever been almost, it's almost like you're on that track, you're a hamster, and it's just, you're not going anywhere. Yeah. But you keep moving, right? Would you guys like to know the key to the vault of success that I tapped into? Yes. Okay. So, about a third of you want to know. Yeah! yeah! All right, that's all right. Okay, cool. It has to do with your, your unconscious and subconscious mind. See, what you believe in your mind, you heard Jared talk about, you've heard many other leaders talk about, holds true in your reality. If you want to change your outside, you have to change your inside first. A lot of us are actually blinded by a lot of things and we don't realize it. If you don't mind, Read this sentence to yourself one time. If you've seen this before, please keep it to yourself. Go ahead and read it to yourself one time. Awesome. So this time when you read it, what I want you to do is count the, count the letter of F's that you see in the sentence. Go ahead and count the letter of F's. How many people missed one and, and only counted two? Raise your hand. How, how many people got all three F's? All right, look around the room, cool. Uh, how many people got four? F's, five, how many people got five? How many people got six? Six. Brian, there's something wrong here. Everybody's looking at the same thing, but they're all seeing something differently. I said, I said F's, F's, all right? Here's the thing, here's the thing that I know about high performance people. You guys are very stubborn, very opinionated. Don't let anybody change your mind. Have you ever been in that time where somebody may have said, let's say that there's three, let's say that there's five, let's say there's six, we'll get everybody believing that there's six? This could be the time. <laughs> Stay by what you believe. How many people got three? Awesome. How many people got six? Yeah. Wow. There are six Fs. Let me point them out to you. One, two, three, four, five, six. What, didn't I point them out? Okay, what, what you need to do in order to see all six is uncondition your mind. First count the number of O's that you see in the sentence, then count the Fs. Oh, is there anybody that still only counts three that's willing to raise their hand? All right. Here's what you need to know next. You don't see with your eyes. You see based on the light that's off of objects. And that light's translated okay, into reality in your mind based on your past conditioning. So if you go back to when you were taught to read English, most of you talk about your words and you were taught phonically. Of was O B and not O F. So you built a blind spot to the Fs. The blind spots are called scotomas, all right? Here's the thing about scotomas. They're a sensory blocking out of reality that exists. 
The other thing about scotomas is you don't know you have them. So where in your life are you working really hard but not seeing any results? Those are where you gotta go inside and think about how you were taught. Recondition your mind, believe that it's possible, know that it's possible, and then take massive, massive action. You'll turn possibility into probability and eventually inevitability.